Cinematic epic intro. There's something really crazy happening in the skies today. So I spent the last couple weeks of my life on 2B2T planning for this celestial event and building this thing. Oh, come on. We had one shot at this epic intro. All right. I mean, realistically, I could have did this as many times as I wanted to. I went back to our old spawn base to get some gunpowder. I'm gonna need to travel like a million blocks to go scout something out, and then I want to go build. Patrick? No! He's been kidnapped! Oh, someone's visited. The armor stand with the zombie head that we named Patrick, it's gone, but we got some signs. Rickson? The last one? Whoa, okay. It's cool we already got some visitors here and no one's blown it up. Sweet. Did I not finish this? What? There's no way. Today, Monday the 8th, there's a total solar eclipse going across America. It's gonna be wild. Dude, I live for this kind of stuff. I don't know, it makes me think about the what, the why, to think about our ancestors looking out at the same stuff we are. It's pretty cool to know that thousands or hundreds of thousands of people could be looking at and thinking about the same thing you are. All right, but I gotta get going here, man. I spent a couple days, we got some gunpowder. I'm ready for the journey. I found a base. Nice. This is looking pretty good. When a base has planning like this, I definitely want to check it out. What is this? Whoa. Map art? Oh, I got these. Yeah, I got them. This is a cool base, though. I definitely want to find the entrance. Where, where do we go in? I'm surprised it's not griefed more with it being really, really close to zero, zero. I got a front door. There we go. Is this like a little storage area and nothing more? Cody smile. Nice. Voyager. What are we going to get? Decent base? Come on. Is it? Let's go. This is beautiful. Whoa. Look at the floor. Whoa. The meeting area. I thought we were going to get a flat tire. This is a beautiful base. Dude, this is cool. Welcome, potential base hunters, to a surgical donut foyer. High vaulted ceilings. And we're deep underground, so there's plenty of light. Notice the natural stone hallway. Ready for any fixer-upper to come and, and revamp the base. Whoa, we even got... We have an ominous purple fog underneath the dome. I think the cheesy home tour music with the, the cheesy home tour guide thing is kind of run its course. Why did I just think those were trapped chests? Why does that look red? Is it? No, it's not. Why does that look red? In all the years, I never noticed the red around the lock. I thought it was a trapped chest. We have a beautiful tree farm inside the base. Okay, all right. I, I know the, the cheesy thing is. What is this? This is a flower farm? Am I standing on a... A lag farm? What is this? You don't ever say what is this when you're trying to sell the place, man. You gotta, you gotta sell it. The previous owner made a bar and lounge area unfinished so that the new owners can make it uh, customizable. Yeah. What up, slime? It's quite the life, living that boat life. I'll leave you be. Are you named? Ow! Right, All right. Never mind. This was a really cool base, Surgical Donut. Awesome, I found it. Let's get moving. I gotta get about a million blocks out to where I'm going so that we can get ready for the next episode. I like to make sure that the area I'm going to build for a while hasn't had, like, people in the last couple days, you know? As long as it isn't, like, super current traffic, I don't mind if people are walking through. I just want to be able to set up, be able to grind a little bit, build, and then we're out found a nice little highway off one of the mains that's taking me in the right direction. I was hoping it was taking me directly to a dupe stash, but that was not the case. Certainly not the case. This is a lot of work for it not being a main highway at all. It went on for a very, very long time. But I ended up needing to jump back on the main anyway, because we were going pretty far out. Ow. That's the next episode. This is now. Hello, beautiful moon, I see you. Once I get all the framework done, it's no big deal filling it in. 
I don't know, I thought what the sun and moon do for me every day, I thought making this video as a love letter to the sun and moon were, I don't know, that's the least I could do. Maybe the sun and moon think about us the same way we think about them. No, actually, that's crazy. I don't know when to stop kidding, but like, I think we've created myths, we've created stories, we've created entire civilizations built around what these things do for us. You know, these celestial things have a gravitational pull on our hearts, so I I think it's important to take a second to appreciate them. We used to believe that the sun wasn't going to rise again. I still think the moon's made out of cheese. Our molecular moon base for the solar eclipse. I needed a place to call home. I love that tree with the granite and the brick in there. Oh man, I love it. Turned out really well. We got the grassy planty look. The roots are looking perfect. And this was a fun one to make. I got a terraform down there on the island. I got to do the interior. Well, I'm at least making this bedroom so that I can say that I have a place to call home. Just after grinding all day, building, you just crash, just close your eyes, wake up, do it all over again. This is what we wanted. Place to hang up our boots. Chill. Nice, cool, bright colors. I like it. I really like it. Got a couch with banner pillows. I mean, it's beautiful. But I didn't do the bottom. You know, this is like the storage slash like furnace area. There's always more stuff to do. But we got a lot of work done today. I got a lot of the biome done that I wanted today. Look at those roots. Our moon tree base is looking pretty good. Started a solar biome. Didn't quite get it done, but we got a good amount of it done. I traveled out to a location for next episode. I mean, we got a good amount done for the nice solar eclipse. I hope you get to see it or maybe have a conversation with somebody about it. I mean, if it starts you talking about space and, and I can get outside of my own head, it's kind of nice. I think it's a nice day to go fishing. Spring's here. The year's started.